Hey guys, what's up? Jeff again to Orient Your Fitness in the right direction, and today I want to go over to you guys a mistake that many so-called fitness gurus make on YouTube when it comes to balancing out your chest and your back, because I've seen people say on YouTube, I won't mention their names, but I've seen one person recently, he said that essentially to balance out your chest and your back, what you do after you work out your chest, such as through bench pressing, what you do after that is work out your lats. And that's not actually gonna correct uh, work evening out your chest and your back. It's actually gonna make things worse and increase your chance of getting an actual shoulder injury. And why is that? Well, your chest, it does shoulder horizontal adduction, right? Which is essentially bringing your arm across your body like that. That's what your chest does, the prime action. And your lats, they do elbow extension, or bringing your elbow behind your body like that. They do shoulder adduction, which is bringing your, elbow, your arm to the midline of your body like that. And it also does shoulder internal rotation, which is this right here. And so what do you think is gonna happen if you work out your chest and you keep doing this, and then you're also working out your lats where uh, action of that is shoulder internal rotation? What's gonna happen is you're gonna go into this rounded shoulder position, and that's actually gonna increase your chances of getting your shoulder injury because as I've said in many of my videos, you got a space right here called the subacromial space, and in that space you got several structures one of them being your supraspinatus muscle, which is one of your four rotator cuff muscles, and that sits right in there. So if you're rounded more, that's gonna increase the pressure on all those structures, including that, and so you could get potential rotator cuff inflammation and a potential rotator cuff tear eventually. So you don't want that to happen to you. And that's especially gonna happen if you've got a bad acromion shape, or you got this, like a type three acromion, where this structure here is more pointed, that you can really run into issues when you're more rounded like this. So you don't wanna be in that position. So what should you actually do? You should actually work out your upper back muscles. So when I talk about your upper back, I'm talking about your rear delts, I'm talking about your middle traps, and I'm talking about your rhomboids. And so how do you work out those muscles to more so even out your chest and your back? What you wanna do is you can do exercises like the reverse chest fly, where you sit down on the chest fly machine, you spread it apart like that, that's gonna hit those muscles. You can do face pulls where you're standing, you have that rope, you go into that double bicep pose, that's gonna hit those muscles. You can also do, say, the YTW exercise where you lay feet flat on the bench. You have the two light five pound dumbbells, let's say. You go up into a Y position, go into a T, go into a W, that's gonna hit those muscles. And so you can do many different exercises. And even when you're sitting at the office, you could work out your upper back or get more upper back stimulation by just retracting and depressing your shoulder blades. So just going like that, retracting, depressing. I don't know if you can see if I'm wearing my jacket, but you just retract and you depress your shoulder blades. Just bring your back, bring it together and down. And so if you just do that throughout the day, that's gonna help you out. So hopefully that corrects some misconceptions that people have had. If you work out your chest, you definitely gotta work out more than just your lats. If you just work out your lats for your back, you're gonna run into problems. So, work out your upper back muscles. That's basically the point of this video. So, if you like this video, this has been Jeff once more. Thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. You can always give me more ideas. And once again, I'll talk to you guys later soon.